Hi and welcome back to my kitchen here at Johnson Branch Farm. My name is Rachel if you're new here and in today's video I am going to show you how I'm getting ready basically for candy season. <laughs> um, at least that's my drive in doing this. Uh, we have a lot of food starting to trickle in from the garden and I actually have the canner going. <laughs> I'm canning my third round of beets and this will probably be it because I mean you don't want to get sick of it either. But because we have I think you can probably hear me better. Because we're anticipating the garden harvest to be a bigger one than it was last year. I need to start organizing and making room in the pantry. Also, one of my drives in doing this is to save money. I have a lot of food here that I'm noticing as I'm pulling down all of these bags. There's a lot of food here and that's money I don't need to spend in the grocery store. I can be meal planning around what's coming out of the garden and what's already stockpiled in my pantry. I have done a few videos showing my Azure Standard Hauls and I still have a lot, like a lot. Like that's a lot of cornbread I could be making. So I need to start including cornbread in our um, meal plans, especially since cornbread is great with buttermilk. And now that we have a milk cow and we're making our own butter, we have a lot of butter. So, I'm gonna start pulling this out and getting it organized and showing you what I'm doing, showing you some of my thoughts. Maybe, I don't know, we'll see where this video takes us. So, let's go. <laughs> Let me tell you, when you're buying bulk, don't, don't buy bulk of things like this. This is just ridiculous. Why did I do this? Uh, we don't need five pounds of baking powder. Probably because it was only like a dollar or two more, so I figured why not, but this is kind of wasteful. Um, it's more than likely gonna go bad before I can use it all. So when you're buying bulk, keep in mind, you don't need to buy the biggest size of everything that's there. Take into consideration what it is, Make sure you're buying bulk of things that you're really gonna use, like flour. I can go through a 50 pound bag of flour fairly in a fairly reasonable amount of time. So, just keep that in mind and don't do this. Also got some lentils. This would be good for a meal. This would actually help stretch things like ground beef. Um, I've made tacos out of lentils. I mean, it's pretty good. It's not ground beef, but it's not bad. and some rhythm here. So this top cabinet, um, I live in a mobile home. Mobile homes aren't really known for their abundance of pantry and drawers and storage places. So I have to make do with what I have. So this is gonna be like stuff I need to use, stuff um, that can be turned into snacks, stuff that I can help make a meal out of. Um, this is going to be just where I grab things from. Over here is going to be um, bulk storage because there 
deeper and taller I can fit stuff better in there and I don't have feel like things are gonna get lost in the back like they are right now <laughs> so I also went through my spice cabinet which needed a lot of help <laughs> and rather than having all of these bags just floating around the cabinet I went ahead and just put them in these white little bins that I had same with all of my preserved herbs that I have dehydrated and put up from the garden or ones that I had already had in a jar I just put it in these bins rather than having to like shuffle through it when I'm cooking I can just pull the whole bin out take from it what I need and it's a little more work it takes. okay here's what I have done so the top is going to be canned goods that I'm gonna work on preserving did you notice that lovely wallpaper that's what our entire kitchen used to look like um, and then this is more baking stuff I'm gonna keep extra flour sugar oats that kind of stuff up there uh, the last of our harvest from last year it's kind of sad and then uh, this is always just been snacks and cereals um, peanut butters got some granola I made the other day keep the potatoes um, and then I've got well I do have some extra corn things back there so that's what this one normally is and then this is also going to be overflow bulk um, and then a bunch of canning supplies so that's easy to get to and see and I know um, how many lids and stuff I have left I mean like seriously that wallpaper though and then this is just more cooking um, nuts um, rice I've got some chickpeas condiments that sort of thing that I need to really be pulling out I've got lentils and cornbread that I need to start cooking with that sort of thing some jams that I had made last year I only have a few of those left and then up here is just where I keep all of the spices I've got some baking supplies tea coffee herbs that I've dried and dehydrated from the garden I just keep that up here I just decided to put all these in these little baskets so I can just pull them down and then pull from the baskets and I'm not having to grab a chair and try to reach in the back of the cabinet and find what I need while my dinner's cooking so hopefully that will all be a little easier now I'm not gonna lie, I'm pulling everything out and trying to organize and put it back together. I really wanted to break down <laughs> and go buy like some great pantry uh, bins and totes, like that would just be awesome. But the point of this video is to save money and to use what we have. Since I don't have that, I'm not gonna go do it. But I would be lying if I said it wasn't tempting. <laughs> so anyway, I think, um, I know for me personally, one thing I'm going to work harder at doing is using what I have and getting a little more creative, thinking outside of the box. I also have a freezer full of some veggies that we could be using up. I've, as you saw, I've got a pantry full of some items. So I'm going to do my best to use what I already have on hand. That way, by doing that, hopefully I can lower our grocery bill and not be so wasteful because that stuff needs to get eaten and if it doesn't then it's just going to go to waste so uh, that is my goal here and I figured I would show you maybe help you and encourage you to do the same so thank you for watching uh, may the Lord bless and keep you until next time